So today we're going to do a speed test of a new memory card that I got. And usually I run a lot of Samsung Evo Plus cards. That's what's in my camera right now. But recently I went online and it was on sale for like $24. I bought a 64 gig Lexar 633 times UHS-1 micro SD XC card. You guys can see that there. With uh, 95 megabit per second read. Now, it came up under the section when I was looking for a 4K memory cards, and we're gonna do a speed test on this because read is important, but the write speed even more so. So, let's test this thing. So one of the things when you go into a lot of shops that sell memory cards is when you're asking how fast the write speed is, most of the guys there are like, oh, it's classed in, it's 95 megabits. And I'm like, nope, no, no, that's not right. That's the read speed. I want to know what the write speed is. And of course, they have no idea. So I'm here to show you how fast this thing can write. Because if you and I are using especially a 4K camera, a 360 camera, or anything higher than that, they need cards that can write data fast or else what happens is their buffer fills up and the card just either errors or you get footage that just doesn't look right because it couldn't keep up. So write speed. That read speed, 95, cool, that's how fast we're going to pull data from the card. But how fast can we put it on the card? I have Blackmagic Speed Disk Tester, whatever it's called, here. And I'm going to bring this up. And I'm simply going to open this card. Again, I got this. I actually got this from Best Buy. And we're going to crack it open. And again, this one is actually their micro SD card. But it comes with a full SD card reader on it. So I always buy micros nowadays because I can use them in just about everything pop it in its own reader, throw it in my computer. It should pop up here on the screen. There it is, good old untitled. We are going to load Black Magic. Black Magic. And, nice and simple, we're gonna go up to stress, five, file, we'll select that target. And it said 95 read, doesn't say anything in regards to write, so let's see how accurate they are, especially even with the read. Are they saying the truth. All right, let's go. And start. So write, actually not horrible, actually pretty good. We're getting about 40, which is actually very good for a write. And read, not quite getting the 90 that they had promised, 95, but we're close. Give it a few more good tests just to see. It's 35. Read. Nicely coming in around that 90-ish again. 35. So I'm going to say write speed, we're going to give it 35. Read speed, we're going to give it, and I'm going to round up here, I'm going to give it 89. So 89 megabits per second, they say it can reach, and they're probably saying upwards of 95, so I'm gonna say this probably falls within their ballpark. But it's very constant, right? Is this capable of 4K? For sure. This is a card that I would have no problems throwing in a Mavic or a Phantom. I'd have no problems putting it in a GoPro for running 4K 60. Uh, I'd have no problems putting it in, say, an Insta 361 X. It should be plenty fast. Actually, just so you guys know, I did a speed test the other day on the card that comes with the Insta 361, not the X, but the one, 4K, and its write speed was only getting around 15 to 16. So this is pushing 35, so much better. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Nice, quick, fast video for you guys to see what the speed test is of this card. And if you can get it at a good price, I think it's a win. I'm gonna put some links down below if you wanna go pick it up at Amazon, if I can find some, and I'll leave you there. All right, my friends, we will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And we'll see you in a couple days. Later.